Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. Still Captain Nips. At the start of a new week. Refreshed again, once again, from the weekend off. And it's time to dive back into the Battletech Backer Beta, where we are going to pick up where we left off at the end of last week with in the great engagements between the great houses of the great inner sphere. Welcome, Commander. There are probably too many greats there. But that aside... We had played, I had played, a matchup between House Davian on the right and House Lau on the left. And we're going to flip that around today and see if we can't curb stomp ourselves some House Lau partisans. So on the House Lau side, we're going to go back to those urban mechs and those cataphracts. So... Get ourselves an Herbie. Herbimech. Skedaddle up to the top. Cataphract. Cataphract. And now today I'm actually going to pick pilots because I just th threw whatever pilots were in there. And that turned out a little weird. So we're going to bring the crack pilots of the Confederation against us. We're going to give them sumo in a cataphract. We're going to give them... Apex turned out to be a good choice. Apex in a cataphract. In the urban mech, we want good gunners. Also doesn't hurt if we can get some evasion on their side. Just to, just to tighten this up a little bit and make it a little bit more difficult for me. And... Trying to decide, do we want blockade or ozone? I think we'll take blockade. Blockade for their last urban mech. Now back on my side, since I'm on the Federated Suns side of the matchup, we've got some options. So in Friday's matchup, I did two Blackjacks, an Enforcer, and a Kentaro. And I, I definitely want to bring that Kentaro because, as I mentioned in Friday's video, at this point in the timeline, this Kentaro especially this variant, is exclusively the product of the Federated Sons, and you can't get much more patriotic than made in the Federated Sons, stamped on the back. Question is, what are we going to do with the rest of this lance? We've got some other options. So, we've got the Blackjacks and we've got the Enforcers, which is fine. There are a couple other mechs in the current Battletech lineup here that are predominantly used by the Federated Sons. Uh, one of them is the Shadowhawk 2D, and the other is the Jaeger Mech A. Um, the thing I'm a little worried about is if I dip into the Jaeger Mech, I'm going to end up with over budget. Let's throw that first blackjack in here and see what kind of. Uh, let's see what we can work with. We get the blackjack in there. Wow, we are spot on 20 million with what's here. Um, which means we're probably not going to be able to go much more than 4.7 a piece. Blackjacks are 4.5. Let's see where that Enforcer is at. Enforcer is 4.4. So I think we end up back on Blackjack, Blackjack, Enforcer... You know, I'm actually going to take Enforcer, Enforcer, one Blackjack, one Kentaro. Blackjack is fine. I like it. It's a good, solid mech. I just don't know if the Autocannon 2s in this game, even with their scaled-up damage, are quite what I really want. So I'm going to go with the Enforcers instead. Pilot-wise... I think it is safe to say we take some good pilots. There's no reason not to do to them what they are going to do to us. So I'm going to put Paradise in the Kentaro to get his evasion and probably be the front line or the tip of the spear here. Tip of the sword, as it were. <laughs> Mirror match between Apex and a Cataphract versus Apex and an Enforcer. Uh, let's see who else we got. 
It's basically her or sumo, wildfire, and then the gunnery bits of this drop off a bit. Yeah, we'll leave Apex in there. Kraken's fine. Yeah, Kraken's fine. Sure, we'll leave him in there. And Mockingbird, we... I think I really want somebody... Yeah, her gunnery is so... So questionable for just general engagements. She'd be great when you start to get knockdowns because her tactic skill is so high. But I think I'm going to swap her out for... Not Sumo, as much as I want to. Swap her out for Wildfire. Last time we fought on River Crossing during the day, I think we are going to switch locations since the Capellans won that last time on River Crossing. I think we will take it to the stacks. And we will do this during a rainy day. Let's see if the sword can put down the dagger as the fed sons come in looking for a bit of redemption and a bit of vengeance against the confederation and away we go Command interface initiated. so the stacks lovely landscape here simply lovely Lots of room to maneuver. Probably not going to bother with the back 40 today. But. We've got some considerations to make. So medium lasers and auto cannon. Twos. AC-10s, large lasers. And a whole lot of SRM sixes. As much as I would kind of want to take the engagement away from the river and the potential cooling that gives the enemy mechs, I think I want that as well. So I'm going to make a dash for the river. I'm there. And I'm going to aye, aye. set myself up from the right hand side of my starting confirmed. position. You have orders? Paradise Certainly. kicking it into high gear here. Which is good. Gets him at the front of our formation. So then, we'll move up the river. Maybe use some of this as cover. Uh, we've got some forests. It'd be kind of neat if I was able to get all the way over here. But I get the, the just based on the number of games I've played and the way that they've gone, I really don't expect that that's going to happen. Uh, we are going to, however, move him well yes, out of line of sight. Ready for orders. Awaiting orders. Bring the rest of the team here. Should be running into sensor contacts relatively shortly. There we go. The stacks is a very narrow map to play on and as a consequence Sensor bubbles pretty well cover you. Um, let's see. So they're there. We might actually be able to make it over here. Commander? Let's start with the Commander? slow pokes. Slow stuff. We've got an unknown on sensors. Okay. Standing by. Got my entire team's worth of move. So like last time. On the other side, two lights, two heavies, all mediums. So you essentially get a weird turn order break, like right here, where all my all my mechs go, all their mechs go, back to the beginning. Actually, I guess the break is right there. Receiving you. All right, I need you to hustle. Actually, let's hustle down here, down into the rocks. Making sure we're not giving any sort of lines of sight up the hill there. At least not yet. Paradise. I you to continue to move toward the front of the formation, but this time... Maybe not quite so much. 
just want you to be at the front. So there's one of the cataphracts. Where, are we, where do we have a line? Must be from the back of my group. There's the other cataphract. Okay. Ooh, and he's gonna get a line. Uh, oof. Rough start. Rough start. All right. I think it's time that we post up. Find good positions. There's our urban max trailing behind. Okay. Let's get paradise. Oh, of course, now we're out of position. Let's give them something to very obviously look at. Since we want Paradise to be taking the brunt of this attack from the Kantaro, or from the Cataphracts. And then we will reposition the rest of the team here in a way that is favorable. Hopefully this is not lying to me and that is actually a clean line of sight. We like those numbers, so we're going to start there. Although the lead, lead element here is evasive. Did say I wasn't going to make it easy on myself. Plenty of heat scale, decent numbers to hit. Yeah, we got some damage through. Orders. Acknowledged. Hmm. We'll turn off the auto cannon since we're again canonical build max with such little ammo it kills you it just kills you Engaging with so we're gonna save the ammo for now since the evasion is up at least on the enforcers yes commander So it looks like, oh, here we go. This might be unobstructed. Moving out. Now I get the sneaking suspicion based on the way the AI has behaved in the past Confirmed. that these cataphracts up here are going to completely ignore Paradise. Just totally ignore my lead element. And they're going to pick on somebody down here because they're probably a slightly better target. Yeah, there we go. So Kraken's gonna take some hits. My internals are taking a beating. Let's see what the other one does. The important thing here is, yeah, no, Kraken again. Taking hits. The important thing that's for this matchup is gonna be to try and keep these cataphracts out of the water where they can't leverage their relatively hot loadout against me with impunity. Oh, Autocan 10 from downtown, Urban Mech. Minimal damage on that hit. That's... Minimal is such a... Such a interesting choice of words. Um, all right, so. We've got cover, cover. I haven't really... Okay, so we put a little damage on this one on the left. So let's continue that work. Let's move. Oh, that's going to be obstructed. Move here. Turn up field. Check the numbers. We like the numbers. I understand. Turn and face. Got evasion going. Uh, heat scale. Let's drop the LRM for heat purposes for now. And let's just to get to town. sandpapering pretty heavily do cause a bit of unsteadiness Standing by. now great chances to hit Aye. like that Now my enforcers, I am going to move them up into cover where possible. So, 
as to make them a slightly less desirable target. I like that move. Just going to get us up into the forest. So then we can turn and plunk this cataphract with the entire salvo. Ooh, and even sneak in the small laser. There we go. Got some good solid damage on that cataphract. Reporting. Critical hit. Awaiting and orders. rounding out with Apex. Ooh, she can... Wow, she can get all the way up here, climbing the backside of this hill. So we'll do that. We'll get up here. Check the numbers. Numbers are good. Face that way. Climb that hill. Turn the AC-10 on. We like 95%. Doing a good job of carving off armor. We're not concentrating damage here. And now the enemy turn. Oof. Oh, that hurts. Because that was our auto cannon. Rough. And there we go. This is what we were hoping for. Keep them out of the water so that they have to deal with heat management. These herb mechs are going to now get... Oof. I'm under heavy fire. Did not get the dodge. No, we don't want to quit. Did not get the dodge. Reporting. Serious armor loss. All right. Back to us. Standing by. And it's time to time to get some work done. All right. So, let's see. Let's start with the enforcers over here. We want to... Let's see. Let's look at something. Front side. Okay. Ninety-ninety. Ninety-ninety. Doesn't matter where we stand. So we'll... Back up to here, turn, and face. Keep the cover. Line up the shot. Uh, if I remember correctly, the right side has the auto cannon and the PPC. So we're actually going to call shot on the right torso. Because if I could take off most of its guns in a salvo here, that would be fantastic. Attacking from position. Especially it's big guns. Didn't quite get there. Waiting for orders. Apex, can you do me a solid here? And get the job done. Right torso. Numbers look good. Firing all weapons. Ooh, that looks solid. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now we reduce that cataphract to two medium lasers. And I think it's probably worth finishing the job before moving on. We don't want to leave too many targets simply out there. That is somehow too close for auto cannon twos. There we go. Acknowledged. Climb the hill to this nice back corner. Get a line on. We're going to shoot for the left torso this time. Where are the medium lasers? One in the torso, one in the arm. Yep. Seems good. Let's double check that. Left torso. Seems good. Heat scale's good. Numbers are good. Ammo is good. This should... Yeah, there we go. Cool. So now all you have to deal with is potential physical attacks from that cataphract, which hopefully the computer has as much luck with that as I did last time because that was not working for me at all last time. And we can have Paradise 
move on up. He's going to have some heat scale issues, but As you wish. we can get right up in the face of this thing here. Yeah, shut down warnings. Heat's a, heat's a thing, man. Heat's a real thing. We're going to overheat, but we are going to let rip. I need to cool off. Hey, you're fine. pretty running hot, running the red line. Paradise doing the work that he needs to. Just absorb attacks. Dodge out of the way, my friend. There we go. We like that. Make those herbies use up their ammo. And here we go. All right. What do we got left on this guy? He's got seven... Center torso armor and 107 structure, so 114. Not counting the legs. I think my blackjack, from its position, can put out that kind of damage. I might be looking. Uh, heat scale's alright. Yeah, alright. So. Chip away! Got a miss in there. A lot of leg hits. A lot of leg hits. Didn't do nearly enough damage to that center torso as we would have liked. This is pr even if these both land center torso, it's probably not going to kill due to cover providing damage reduction. But we can get closer. Yeah, we got real close. And then. Standing by. Yeah, we can't let it live. I don't think. Let's kill it and be done. Yeah, that one got the job. Ooh, got the head. Ouch. That's just. That's just insult on top of injury. That mech was. Apex, that mech was destroyed. You didn't need to kill the pilot. Alright. Paradise. Now that we're up a mech, pretty, pretty convincingly. If we can get Paradise down into the water here, no doubt it will be done. get the rear side of this cataphract, turn around, we got our evasion. Yes, we are going to overheat. In fact, we have such a good, such a good position. I think I'm going to chance the shutdown. Also, while we're at it, we have inspiration That's to use. Right. A storm is coming. Just to make sure that this really, really hurts. The target is confirmed. Yeah, we like that. Open up all those rear panels. solid start to the new cycle. He's going to stand up, so his, he's going to have two hit penalties. If he's smart, he moves into the water. Yep, does. But foolishly fires on my blackjack instead of my shutdown Kentaro. That's going to come back and bite him. Urban mechs, who have kind of been just standoffish this whole time. Hopefully they don't just kill Paradise with a headshot. Take it on the arm. Hey, you're fine. You're fine. Everything is fine. It's all good. Minimal damage. Just Minimal. keep, just keep soaking, soaking that, soaking it. All right, Paradise. Yes, need you to wake up. Start that bad boy back up, please. I'm here. And now we need to reposition ever so slightly. Really wish we had just a turn in place command. 
Yeah, we don't really have a good way to just turn the mech without having to take a step. But, Copy that. this is not the worst step to have to make. Problem now is that we have to contend with this cataphract in the water. We've got a little bit of an overheat issue, so we'll back off a laser. Oh, hello. Did not expect to punch through that. That is a great, great, great start to this round. Move down the hill. As the Federated Sun's Lance is getting work done on the Capellans. Not sure where that landed. Starting to run a little light on ammo. But we've got heat scale, that chance to hit is still pretty good, and we're not empty in the bins, so we'll keep up the weapon fire. Great location, center of mass. Putting this cataphract into real dangerous territory, but... Yep, it's bleeding heat. Interestingly, oh, and that's right, we took away all its guns. <laughs> Oof. Internal structure damage. All right, we'll lose medium laser to that. Ooh, starting to punch through our sides here. Paradise. I need you to get your hustle on, please, and take to the water for just another moment and try and put the hurt on the remainder of this cataphract. We're going to fling the LRMs even though this is it's actually better odds than I would have expected. Acquired and Kapow. That would be a kill. Getting the work done, and all we got left now are a pair of urban mechs to deal with. Yes, Commander. I think Wildfire from her position. What does she got? She has an obstruction. That's what she has. So, we're going to move her slightly to her... No. Commander. Slightly to her left to aim downfield. All right. Having to wrestle a little bit with the heat here on this blackjack. So let's back off some of that. Continue the work with the auto cannons. Gotta dodge. Commander. We're in a decent spot. With Kraken, he doesn't need to really move. Since he's just got the large laser really left. We will pick away at this urban mech at distance. Through its evasion, even. Aye, aye. I think this round we will save the autocannon fire, clear the refire penalty. Target locked. Get precision strike. We like that. Make these urban mechs come to us. Alright, they should probably be about halfway through their ammo loads if I'm, I'm here. remembering my math correctly, which is a reasonable place to be. Have Paradise turn the corner here and let loose on the evading Urban Mac with his missile swarms. Hopefully more th more than a few of these missiles get through. Actually, that was a lot. Wow, look at all those dodges. Th oof, wow, that was amazing. I'm receiving you. But, but. issues again. All right. We are just going to start throwing 
attacks at this thing, and we are eventually going to chip our way through all of those Standing by. chances to miss. Can I get up for the small? I can get up in range for the small, so we'll do that. Roger. Get to this other piece of forest and work both lasers. Roger. Next turn we'll be in position to go for the physical attack. A couple of dodges not helping here. It's fine. Commander. We're in a pretty commanding position, so I'm not super worried at the moment. Wow, I could go from downtown on this other urban mech. It's got cover, which is not ideal, but she has precision strike. So let's do this. We're going to pick on that urban mech, and we're going to fire just the autocannon. Skip the cover, because Engaging precision target. strike. From downtown, punk. Ooh! I know that feeling, taking out the left torso and losing the small laser. It happened twice in the last game. One on each of my urban mechs. This guy's trying to work Paradise, and Paradise is having none of it. Oh, autocannon lands. Kraken's Enforcer. Kraken's Enforcer is looking a little rough. Alright, so... Paradise is... Is he struggling with heat right now? I don't think he is. Doesn't look like it. Um, so let's... Let's take a look at this guy. Uh, his left side torso is a little beat up. We can exacerbate that pretty easily. I understand. So let's go. Paradise down in the water, turns on the heel, and lines up the shot. Yep, no reason not to fling it all. Firing. Still getting lots of dodges. I'm here. This turn, however, we're going to get in there with the fists. Not a great chance to hit, but if we can break the evasion. There we go. That gives the rest of my team a much, much better opportunity to put the hurt on this guy. I think we'll take the overheat chance now while the evasion's gone. Looking good. Looking good. My heat gauge is getting pretty high. Nope. I think I heard a knockdown. Oh yeah. Standing Apex. Do we have a rear fire penalty going on here? Yeah, we do. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate timing. So let's just move slightly to the corner here. Line up our shot. If we could take this arm off, that would be great, because that would mean the Irby would be without weapons. Okay, tens taking a refire penalty. So we'll just... Sorry about that, folks. Printer is complaining. Yeah, I think we take this shot. There we go. Yeah, oh, and we just kill it. That works, too. Urbamech is doing doing some work, no question. Paradise. We're going to have him run this way. Try and stay in the water so we can get some healing. Healing. <laughs> Cooling. I'm receiving you. Aye, aye. And this urban mech must have moved positions because now I've lost I've lost lines of sight. Location confirmed. Those are not great numbers, and I'm also overheating. I think we will 
pass the turn for now. Let her bleed some heat. Ready for orders. Kraken, on the other hand, has no such issues. Confirmed. And a large laser that is still functional. So we'll continue to work it. Just gonna move for position here. Here we go. Since this is basically clean up and we have a four to one mech advantage, even though some of my mechs are a little beat up, this urban mech's gotta be running dry of auto cannon ammo pretty shortly. I'm here. Can I get behind it? Eh, not so much. But I can get up on it. Locking on target. No more SRM. Huh, look at that. I ran out of ammo. Waiting for orders. get within small laser exchange range here. Yes, Commander. Can't quite get into melee range, but can get into dropping an alpha on this guy range very easily with very good numbers. That's going to be game there. And the Fed Sons take a little bit of retribution against House Lao and the Capellan Confederation. Came out pretty solid. Didn't lose a mech. Although, there's going to be some repairs needed. Kraken's Enforcer loses almost an entire side. Pretty much an entire side. Paradise, likewise. Wildfire and Apex's mechs, though, come out pretty clean. Actually, I don't know that anything fired on Apex at any point. Yeah, no. Took no damage. 13 rounds, 30 minutes, in a pretty lopsided, one-sided fight. Once we cleaned out the cataphracts, the, the urban mechs weren't really going to put up much of a fight by themselves. Know your targets. Know your threats. Focus your fire. Remove threats. Work your way down the line. And so that'll be it for today's Battletech in the morning. I continue to be, and always, hopefully will continue to be, Captain Nips. Once again... Thank you for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video.